Pop song correspondences. An assembly at the school referenced in Pink Floyd's The Wall. People, can we get started, please? As you know, I see us as a community of learners, teachers, students, all together. And I think that's why I have found all the recent violent riots to be so upsetting. As the schoolmaster, of course, it's my job to be aware of any concerns people have. And I would like to address the demands that you have issued. We don't need no education. Now, I really don't mean this to sound cruel, but your thesis disproves itself. When you say we don't need no education, your use of the double negative shows that you do. If you had said, you don't need any education, I might disagree, but it would at least be an argument. And I think with more education, you might realize that. We don't need no thought control. Well, again, unless proper grammar is thought control, then uh, I mean, maybe we're trying to control your thoughts by teaching you basic math skills and historical facts. Uh, hey, I'm, I'm a brainwashing cult leader here, leading you to your death. Blah. No dark sarcasm in the classroom. OK, that's fair. I'm sorry. But look, when you spend your day teaching, I'm afraid you need dark sarcasm in the classroom, or in this case, the cafetorium. Believe me, if you were a teacher, you'd understand. Teacher, leave them kids alone. Well, it's those kids, actually. Look, I might remind you that we've tried that before, this idea of yours. I remember teacher leave the kids alone week last spring? No one came to school except to set fires. It didn't work. To have a school, to be teachers, we simply can't leave you alone. That's, that's the opposite of what teaching is. And as I've said, you need some education. How is that? Am I a rock and roll guy? Hey, teachers, leave them kids alone. Look, I want you to know that your concerns are being heard and that they are wrong. All in all, you're just a, another brick in the wall. Oh, nice poetic imagery. Actually, I like that, the, the notion that we're all bricks in a wall, yeah. Because you know what bricks are? They're bonded together, like us. All in all, you're just a, another brick in the wall. OK, thank you. Yeah, you've already said, all right. One more thing, we've received a suggestion <laughs> that students be allowed to have pudding, get this, before meat. How is, how is that even possible? How can you have any pudding if you don't eat your meat? I really appreciate the sense of humor you guys have. Okay, so look, I've enjoyed this assembly and maybe soon we could put out the fires you've set and all get back to learning. Thank you.